To get premium trading and investing tips, support on Patreon. How's it going, everybody, and welcome to another Market Watch video, guys. Today, EA has released another base icon upgrade SBC, and they released the UEFA Market Matchups SBC, where they need uh, in each of these SBCs uh, one uh, common or rare uh, UEFA Champions League player, and this one is just one rare UEFA Champions League rare player. So they might be slightly going just up, uh, maybe not much, but. Um, all in all, this is not the market that we're looking at after all of these uh, hectic things that happened over the market during Black Friday. Also, EA has announced right here uh, that they're going to bring out the team of the group stage on Friday. The deck card design, I don't know if they changed that or anything like that. They just put the same design or something like that. Either way, it doesn't matter. This is the new stuff that EA is planning for Friday. We already covered it in yesterday's video because we expected it. Guys, if you didn't watch it yet, make sure to watch after this one. But what we'll focus on in this video more specifically is the new team of the week uh, and the new team of the week was already announced today this morning I already posted it if you don't follow me on Twitter yet make sure to do it because as you can see most of the uh, the the cars that got in I already had this information at around like 10 hours ago as you can see right there so if you're interested in that make sure to drop me a follow on tw Twitter it's all in the description below uh, and basically yeah let's just go through the cards right now because I do think Aspas and Romagnoli are two cards a lot of people are looking at, but definitely I wouldn't buy them unless they're further cards. Now, the first thing, if they would be further cards, they're going to be great, great investments just because they have slight in-game demand, even though they have both objective cards that are slightly better than theirs. So, for example, Aspas 86 that you can get for free right now is uh, has uh, more pace than the current one. And Romagnoli is 86 rated, if I recall correctly. Of course, it is 86 rated. It has way better stats if you complete an objective. So, this dude as a further card into fitness would be mad uh so if they go down to the father values of course i would buy them then if they don't i wouldn't because still when people complete the objective they're just gonna sell this one and eventually it's gonna lose in value uh, until it touches uh the father value somewhere in the near future fabian is gonna be potentially a very good father investment because he's spanish so it gets those hybrid links, it gets those good links uh, with the La Liga teams and all of that. We've already seen uh, the 86 other inform from uh, from um, the Serie A. I forgot his name right now, but we already seen the, that dude uh, rise quite nicely in value. So uh, I feel like when this dude goes to close to discard values, uh, close to the folder 84 rated values, it's going to be a very good buy for future. Um, in game wise. I do think we have here only three players. The first one is Rafinha. Uh, there's a lack of uh, the right position cards in this game. Uh, also, he's quite solid, uh, potentially looking at the in-game stats. He's not the best because he's got three-star weak foot. He's got very poor finishing, but just snap a finisher on him and I think he can do very good. So this card is a good look. He's going to be way lower, in my opinion, over on Sunday into Monday. Those are the days, in my opinion, that you will potentially be buying these team of the weeks. Uh, before going into the fitness period of course and if for example ea brings i don't know a rodrigo fitness card which they did in the past and they could do it uh this year when he's in the premier league this dude as a link investment would be very good of course we don't know if rodrigo will get in i'm just saying like if there's gonna be a card that's gonna link up nicely to rafinha you can see rafinha rise even more uh, as he has also in game demand just be careful because most of the team of the weeks they will rise out of packs but getting closer to the january window when we get into the team of the year panic most of the informs will drop so basically if you buy him now and you're holding him you're hoping that ea is going to bring out someone like rodrigo that can be a link investment during the fitness period now the other one is lautaro martinez i do feel like this card is very op um if you put an engine on this dude it looks like the in-game stats are on point um if i pack if i pack like in the red uh pick him up i would i would definitely pick him up because i would think that uh this card would do like a great super sub with four star four star with high attacking work rate so it looks just kind of great um investment wise yes he could work again if there's going to be inter players released or if there's going to be seria uh fitness sbcs for example if uh, someone like gomez or someone like dibala will get it i feel like 
it can also push him up because of the links so uh this could also be a potential link investment just because there's very good potential other cars they could get into the fitness sbcs but be careful again guys if you get too close to the january window he's gonna drop Griezmann, I don't know, is a left wing, I don't like it, he's got a road to final card, he's way more in demand in my opinion, I just wouldn't buy him, but um, if you want to try him out, uh, I do think he'll stagnate, he won't do much, he will slightly rise, 10, 20k, maybe max, and he's gonna go back down slowly, so I just can't see him do that many good moves, as last year, I do believe he also had a left wing card, and it, it didn't move much, and it just kept dropping as the weeks went by, I feel like Mendy is very good, I feel like Mendy could be good if we get also that team of the groups stage um um de bruyne um I, of course we potentially are predicting that de bruyne and coleman can be into team of the group stage just because they didn't uh get into this team of the week so if that happens for example someone uh like goretzka could also go up during the team of the group stage period the problem is that goretzka has already risen we bought it at 205k over on sunday right now he's sitting at 225k but either than that uh, I do think Mendy will be a very good investment. If De Bruyne drops, you need to buy him before Friday because on Friday, I do think that hype will bring him a bit up. Of course, Sunday, he's going to be back down, but it's not going to drop to the values that we want him to drop if De Bruyne gets in just because I do think more people will try and link him up and all of that and it can slightly uh, hold him at some value. Um, if De Bruyne doesn't get into the team of the group stage, if there's no Man City players there, I do think he's going to be a very good buy over on Sunday, Monday. Um, yeah. And going into the next week, he's going to potentially have quite a nice rise. Uh, as he's French, he's a left back. And he's quite a solid car looking at it. Um, the other cars, guys, remember, if there's 82 rated cars that are from the top five leagues, also solid nations, just buy them. Store one of each in club. Uh, wait for the fitness period. I do think most of these can be sold for very low profits. I do believe these 82s can be like sold at 13, 14 Ks when there's going to be specific SBCs released, of course. Um, but most of the higher end ones will also rise alongside with the further market, who's already up right now. If you want to know when I think the best time to buy the further and all of the other cards is this week, make sure to watch yesterday's video. I explained it more in depth there. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them down below or or just join on twitter guys ask me the questions there i'm always there to respond hope this these videos really help you trade guys hope you're doing good clones right now uh remember any questions drop them below and i'll see you tomorrow have a good one cheers